gave what up so this is a continuation video to websocket series in my previous video i talked about how i converted my personal portfolio website to you know leverage the power of websockets and perform some real time analytics uh, in case if you haven't checked that out i would strongly recommend you checking that out because there you will find all the resources and everything and you will understand that how everything is working okay and i've put the same link in the description as well as in the i button so you can check that out to get a proper context this video we will just talk about the front end changes that we would be doing so of course it won't be exactly as what i did in that website but this would be similar to you know uh, i would cover some of the events that would be good enough to track all of those okay so let me show you this is how our website looks like and let me quickly see if the server is up and running maybe a refresh should work so you can see that it's a blank page and i'll just quickly write some code here so i'm using sas module just simple styling and some components so let's quickly have it here so we will have another div which will be analytics container in this we will add a button track event so maybe we will track every click of this button uh, you know whenever someone clicks on it and all that and then we will have this image track component where we will have the source as uh, loading.gif in case you're not familiar this is the image that's it's very simple a gif only and then we also need to add on image callback so when image is visible what i want to trigger so currently we will just log a message that image is now visible okay image is now visible and let me save it up and then i'll also add uh let me check what is it visibility percentage okay it is not visibility it's viewability percentage so viewability percentage let's keep 0.4 for now and save it okay so currently you can see that it is not visible but if i scroll it down and further and further so oh uh, what is is not a function i'm not sure why it would say that let me refresh it yeah so it says image is now visible i think there were some refreshing issues so that that is something that you will see pretty much with next js like i'm using next js if you can see this is the next js template and you know um, the major reason is it gives you the flexibility to put your it's a full stack framework if i say so it gives me you know it makes things pretty simple to show and move forward anyways so if i reload this page uh, until i reach the 40 percent of it image is now visible okay so that's the idea and you can of course tweak this parameter as if whatever you want okay so this is a simple uh, skeleton i would say and now we would be tracking events so what we will be tracking let me quickly put it down here uh, we would be tracking total user duration then we would be tracking button clicks then we would be tracking image load event okay so these are the three events that we would be tracking all right so this was a front end layout i hope you got a clear understanding we are using a higher order component to uh, using intersection observer in case if you have not if you're not familiar with this uh, i will add another video i will add another video in the uh, i button check that out but ideally what this is doing is just triggering an effect when a specific visibility percentage crosses and by default it is 0 0.8 if you don't set it otherwise it will take up your value okay so that's all for this video and i will check you in the next video thank you very much